Hello, is this record? Hello, everybody. I, uh, I remembered I have this camera and I wanted to film more stuff with it today because it's October 4th and, uh, the entire Los Angeles metro system is free for today. So I thought I'd go down to Santa Monica. Taking the bus there normally is cheaper than parking there anyway. Now taking the bus is free, just for today. So I thought I'd spend a little time down there, have some fun. ...on our system and we are stepping up enforcement of this policy to improve your experience aboard metro. Let's work together to create a safer system for all. Report any issues through the Transit Watch app, the station intercoms, or any uniform personnel. If you see something, say something. Got the hawk going. I decided I want to start filming my day-to-day -day life, but not in a vlog way. Don't get it twisted. Today, I'm going. This is so stupid. Anyway, today we're going to the fucking. We're going to a card show, which I'm excited about because I fucking love trading cards. Look at this shit. Woo 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 woo. I love trading cards. So, we're gonna fucking trade the cards on, baby. Going to the card show. <laughs> This is the drive to going to the card show. Yeah. What's up, Instagram story? I just want to capture more things on video, I think. Yeah. Thanks again. Thank you. Is that an audio? It has audio. Oh, okay. It's an eighth grade eye. Just document. Give me something to look back on. Well, that was Sunday. Now it's Wednesday. So, um, I just got back from work, which is my last day of work for a couple days, because I only work four days a week, I think. Anyway, um, I'm walking funny because my pants are falling down out of frame. I thought I'd show you guys the cards I, I got while I was down there. Uh, just these ones, but yeah. So hopefully I'm in frame. Um. But yeah, so first thing I got was just a single pack of the 1987 WWF cards. Uh, I got this thing, uh, Honky Tonk Man, who I have an action figure of that was a gift. Islanders Attack. Is this fun? Is this entertaining? Fantastic Body Press. I think some of these were that they were showing the, uh, yeah, some of the cards were for... Uh, people and some of them were for moves, which is cool. This one just says ready to sting uh, And then I got two packs of the 1991 WCW Impel uh, Oopsies uh, Lex Luger throwing Ric Flair over There's there's only one fabulous free bird got Flying Brian, I don't Is that Brian Pillman? Oopsies. Uh, I got one more sports related thing and it was these X Games cards. They don't say the people's names on them. It just says Matt. This is Matt the Surfer. And also, I don't think these are X Games cards, to be fair. Generation Extreme. So we got Matt. He's surfing. Does it say his name? Matt Archbold. Matt Beach. Ironically, Matt Beach is not the surfing Matt. Susan. Susan. I'm guessing that's Dematte or something like that. I don't know. Dematte. Dave Crick. A surfer. A surfer, dude. <laughs> uh, we got uh, this BMX. Uh, Gary Ellis. Got David surfing again. What's his name? David Cuniff. Uh, Bill. Um, I can't tell what sport this is. Is this just suicide? Uh, and then finally there was this. Just sweepstakes entry card. No details about the sweepstakes. Um, 
Yeah. I think this was Fleer. I think this was Fleer Generation Extreme. This is 1994 Vision Marketing. Oh, for some reason I thought it was Fleer. I don't know, maybe it was Fleer. Maybe Vision and Marketing is who owned Fleer before Upper Deck, but I don't think that's true. Um, I just got a bunch of other junk. I got a bunch of these fucking World of Warcraft CCG cards. I don't know what any of this shit means. Maybe I'll start playing World of Warcraft. Who knows? <laughs> this, I got these Lady Death cards. Just show off a few. Um, this one, she appears to be getting fucking socked in the mouth by the devil. Yeah! And uh, this one's, like, translucent. So, that's cool. So then I got these Skybox Marvel cards. I'm seeing what year this was. It was 93. Just some cool ones I got. I don't even know what Vulture 29, or 2099 is. But, yeah. Nightcrawler. These are cool. I like getting these. It's, it's, you know, these people go to these, these people, like, I don't... I like trading card collectors. I like sports card collectors. I like sports fans. I don't I don't dislike sports fans. But I'm just saying, I feel like these card shows are put on for people who want to spend like $120 on like a really nice card uh, kept in like a sleeve and a top loader and like a magnet or something like that. I want to buy shitty fucking low-end packs of non-sport cards. Is that all I... Is that too much? Next I had cards for something called Valiant. I don't even know what this is. I've never heard of Valiant, but... Apparently this is the story of the Valiant Universe in trading card form. Solar, Man of the Atom, Eternal Warrior, Archer and Armstrong, Harbinger, Solar Man of the Atom but with something else, Magnus Robot Fighter. This one's in Jap Japanese so I can't tell what it says. I think it says Rai but I can't tell what that last like kanji is. No clue what Valiant is. I'm guessing it's a comic book uh, company. And then I got these really fucking cool cards. That were like art cards, you know, like the Hildebrandt brothers, the uh, uh, fucking Frank Frazetta, Boris Vallejo. That a lot of these guys, I'm sure there's like H. G. Wells, H. G. Wells, H. G. Wells, H. R. Fucking Geeger. What the fuck is coming out of my mouth? Anyway, they were selling these fucking packs at that little stand that I went to. And just cool little sci-fi art. I wish that they would have something like this for Bruce Pennington. That would be... That's what I've been wishing for for ages, is a Bruce Pennington one. Because I love his sci-fi art. Um, and then just these fucking World of Warcraft ones. What's funny is all of these were put together in like a little plastic vacuum seal. Like shrink wrap. That's the word I mean. Shrink wrap. And this was a dollar total. So I was like, why not? I want something stupid like that. And then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics ones. It was between the comics ones and the movie ones, but I already own the movie ones. Or I already own, what you know, a certain amount of the movie ones. So I was like, I'll buy these because I don't have any of them at all. Yeah, that's what I got at the trading card show. I've decided that 2024 is going to be the year that I finally fucking ollie. Uh, I know I made a video saying I was learning how to ollie like five years ago, and then I made another one like, I don't know, five years, did I say five fucking years ago? I meant to say like two years ago, and then I made another one five months ago or so. Or was that a year ago already? I don't know. Time's not real. This is my helmet. I've had it for years now. Um... It's falling apart because I left it in the back of my hot car. I want to get a new one. I want to get one of those, like, uh, ones with a bill that, um, Andy Anderson uses. Like, the one that kind of looks like a, um, like an old-timey army helmet. I'm gonna get that one of these days. I don't know when. Until then, I'm stuck wearing this because, uh, I believe in wearing a helmet. Unless you're just wearing it for transportation, like, unless you're just skating for transportation. But I want to learn how to ollie, and I'm a fearful child. So I'm wearing my fucking helmet, even though it's kind of humiliating. I don't give a shit. You know, I think, I think it's good to humiliate yourself.
at, uh, well, in general, but especially at, you know, my age. This is the age that you really need to feel a lot of humiliation, I think. Because <laughs> then it makes you really fucking cool when you're an adult, you know? Yeah. At least that's what I tell myself. I don't even know how close I am. I'm down here because I'm, I have, I'm too embarrassed to, uh, film where people can see or hear me. But whatever, fuck them, right? Uh, I think I just technically did my first ollie. Didn't get on video, but I don't care, it wasn't impressive. But I was, I was cool. Um, but now the trick is trying to get a second one in, so let's see if I can manage that. Okay, so I got a lot done, but, um, you know, that's no fun. I want to skate too. Just skate around, so I'm just going to skate around a while. It's nice. It's gloomy. Actually, I just remembered I need to get my bike tube replaced, so I'm going to go do that right now. Then when I get home, I gotta record the harmonies for my fucking album. But yeah. Okay, I recorded harmonies and I pumped my bike. That's why that pump is there. So now I'm, I'm gonna go to the fucking bike shop. Sometimes doing the most boring social interaction tasks makes me nervous. So anyway, I'm just gonna go in and be like, yo, why am I telling you this? This is so not interesting. Okay, I just got my bike to the place. So now I'm gonna, I don't fucking know what I'm gonna do. I can finally fucking bike again. That's not, whatever. Oh, it feels weird. I think they put me on a different gear. Whatever. I've got a new lease on life with this new rear tire. It's new tube. With this new tube. I'm gonna celebrate a little. And I'm gonna go to a, uh, a little secret spot I like. Biking really takes a lot out of you. stealing the tires or anything like that because this is a pretty nice neighborhood. I trust the people here. I didn't show much of the trail in case other people were here. I don't want to film, film them without their permission, but here's that spot I was talking about. Gotta be careful. There may be snakes. And I know you're thinking, Aiden, this is just a dingy fucking deck. 
in the middle of a fucking middle of fucking nowhere. This is your secret spot. To that I go boom. Look at that. All of Studio City. Most of the valley really. Some noise pollution. But uh yeah, my feet hurt like fucking hell. God damn. But yeah. Absolutely worth it. I love it up here. I found it completely by accident, and I was like, this has been here the whole fucking time, because it was on satellite view. I don't love that. But yeah, here's the, uh... Here's the San Fernando Valley. Let's see. I was over... Where is it? I guess it's obscured by this tree, but... Excuse you. And you can see which parts are sunny and which parts aren't. Those people up in, uh, where would that be? And then the fuck, the Kaiser in, in, on Woodman is just on the borderline. I'm watching it get darker and darker at like, actively. A lot of flies have just shown up, probably because I stink. You kind of, you can see the uh, Chase Bank building on Lancashire. I can't tell, whenever I'm up here I can't tell if things look further apart than I'd expect or closer together. But uh, it's wonderful. I wonder if people can hear me right now, like in their backyard. People on the trail could probably hear me. I don't give a shit. I just don't want to film people. But, um... Yeah, somebody should put this thing back together. The nails are all there. Maybe I could bring a fucking hammer up here. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> Maybe I should do a video on all the, like, conspicuous things in the valley. Just determining all of them. Cause that's the Kaiser Permanente, that's those smokestacks. You can't see them in the sunlight, but there's some like, uh, cell towers that are pretty visible during the sunlight. Um, there's the Chase Bank building over there, but I don't, you can't really see it from here. I mean, you can't, I can. Um, way in the fucking west is the, uh, other Kaiser buildings, or no, Blue Shield. My battery's gonna die soon. I should probably get home.